Hello guys, welcome to Filament Daily. Have you ever thought about testing automated tests in Filament? This is one example of a question I saw on Discord. Why are the unit test resources so lacking? And in this video, I will show you an example project of Filament test and also will briefly explain why there's so short documentation on testing. So I will show you the practical example of PHP Artisan test with these methods. But before we do that, let's start with the philosophical question of why testing is so underrepresented, you would say. And by the way, if you haven't started testing in Laravel, I have a few courses about that on Laravel Daily. There's testing in Laravel 11 for beginners, which is one of the most popular courses on Laravel Daily. So I will link that one in the description below. So you can start with testing and then apply it to filament. Now back to the video. The thing is that automated tests like PHP unit and PEST are Laravel and PHP features. And if you think about it, the project of filament is kind of three layers. So PHP Laravel backend, then on top we have live wire, and then on top we have filament. And with filament, you're kind of only building the components like table, like text input, text column, actions, and stuff like that. And those are internally tested in filament so there's not much need to test them on top. So that's one reason why there's not too many tests for filament written on top of the existing vendor tests in filament core. Then also if we go to the next layer, the actual tests for filament are live wire tests. So you need to load live wire component representing the component or the page and then assert that that component works correctly. That's why in the first paragraph you have recommendation of live wire plugin for PEST. And it is also emphasized here that all the pages in the app are live wire components. So we're actually talking not about filament tests, but about live wire tests, which are mostly about what component, what element on the page is loaded correctly with live wire. That's why the typical example of test is can you list posts? You create some posts, you load the live wire resource and see if the table is loaded correctly. So to actually write tests in filament, you would need to read two documentation pages, filament and then underlying live wire testing documentation. So you would have to be familiar with live wire test and then assertions of live wire tests. This is an example of a typical live wire test. So you set up the user and some kind of other records, then load the component of Livewire and assert that the view has certain data. And only then the third layer of Laravel tests of PEST or PHP unit may be involved, but in filament projects, by default, you don't really write that much of PHP or Laravel raw code. It's mostly, as I said, about filament classes and live wire components and how they interact with each other. Do they show correct data? Do they submit the right data to the forms and the database? So in my practice in filament projects, I never really wrote much of PEST or PHP unit tests. But what is beneficial to write, and let me show you an example. Example comes from Laramant Starter Kit, which I've showed already in another recent video. It's a starter kit with filament and some customizations, configurations on top, including one example of test for one of the resources. So here's a user resource with user table, new user form and edit form. So nothing really too fancy here. Pretty simple user resource. In the code, it looks like this. So user resource, form, table, again, nothing really too fancy, but it is covered by user resource test. Let's see what exactly is tested and look at the code. So as I mentioned, we're using Livewire here a lot and most of the tests are Livewire component with assert something like, is that component loaded successfully? Then the same thing with create page. And then this is where it gets more interesting. Edit page needs to have a parameter of record. This is the default name of the parameter for edit page. And this is what would probably be the most beneficial to test whether some column or input is actually visible. Let me show you a use case for that. In Discord, I recently had an interesting conversation. Question was about some fields being visible for super admin or regular admin and how to structure the code. Maybe it's worth refactoring and something like that. 
and this would be one of the case where testing would be beneficial. So acting as one user or one admin and C, assert that the table column exists or form column exists. And there is a difference between table column exists and can render. You can Google that in the docs. I just want to show you the principle of what you would be tempted to test. Sorting is also tested whether it works. Searching is tested. So search table then can create a record. Now we fill in the form and then assert that form has no errors and also assert the database record. And in the main best file, there's refresh database on each time. And let's go to test case. Nothing really more global here. Then update a record is roughly similar. Delete a record, assert model missing, can bulk delete, can validate. So assert has form errors in this case. This is an interesting topic from testing perspective in general. I want to emphasize that a lot of developers when starting testing, they are testing so-called shiny scenarios, whether the page is loaded, whether the form is submitted successfully and stuff like that. But they often forget the invalid scenarios like validation, which is sometimes even more important than those shiny scenarios because those are exactly what we want to catch with our automated tests. So validation for each column separately can validate confirmation and like this. And the result of that, as I've shown you already in my terminal, I launch PHP Artisan test. There's one architectural test with PEST. I will not show you that. It's not related to filament. And these are the tests. So what that test would do, for example, let's hide one of the columns from table. For example, let's delete the email. And one of the tests specifically tests that, let's scroll up, where was the table, has column, this one. So it uses best data sets, which means that the same test would be repeated with each of that value, including email, which is not in the table now, right? So if we relaunch PHP Artisan test now with stop on failures, it would show only one error. We see that error like this. Automated test flagged that the table is not in the list. Failed asserting that table column with name email exists. So yeah, this is probably the most common scenario what I would personally test in filament projects, table columns and form submissions with success or validation errors. And also if you have different roles and permissions, then do acting as different users and repeat the same testing with different expected results. What do you think about this example? What are you testing in your filament projects, if anything? Or what would you like to be testing that filament or live wire doesn't allow currently? Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.